I'm about to reveal how JSON, the AI SDR from Lizer works, so you could determine whether or not it's worth your investment, that I'll reveal at the end, and if it can actually replace your existing SDRs or even you. So first, before you let JSON do any of the work, you need to complete the setup. Basically feeding JSON information about your business, your ICP, your product, proof points, pain points, desires, everything you have about your business. Once you teach JSON, the AI SDR, about your product, company, your tonality, and everything you yourself need to do outreach, then you're ready to let JSON, 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 take over and actually start replacing your SDRs or to attempt to do that. So now let me explain to you how JSON actually works. So first, you either upload a lead list to JSON, right or connect json to your crm i cannot call it i, I want to call it json okay never mind once you do that right you pick you pick whatever whatever you want you either upload leads from the crm or from a lead list, right csv whatever once that's done json will go and start doing internet searches and web scraping to find a lot more information about your leads, right? So about their company, a website, uh, per perhaps even LinkedIn, anything Jason could find about your lead. It will then enrich that lead and gather all the information about the lead right here so it could go and write the personalized emails to outreach with. Those personalized emails include a few things. First, the information about your lead. Second, your product information, your custom instructions and examples of email structures or templates that have worked very well in the past. And every time Jason gets a positive reply afterwards or books a meeting, handles an objection, it feeds itself and learns over and over again, which means there's no need for A-B testing because Jason constantly iterates based on the feedback it gets itself. Like if he sends an email, he gets more reply rates, right? He's gonna send that email again and again, then test something. If it gets lo lower reply rates, it, it will come back and it always iterates on its own results. So you don't need to input any A-B tests or anything. It will personalize everything based on your leads data, product information, custom instructions, and examples it has from the past, right? And it could test different uh, personalization points, pain points, whatever, till it finds the best and then uses it for the best results. So now we go into the sequences itself. You have, of course, various email configuration settings, uh, your infrastructure, how many emails to send, warm up, whatever. And then you of course send the emails to your uh, prospects. If for some reason your prospects do not respond to any of the emails you send, if you made, uh, if you set up five follow-ups, 20 follow-ups, which you shouldn't do, if they don't respond to any of those follow-ups, Jason will then call them. They will call to check in with the lead, send them a voice message. Now, let's say your prospect does reply, but he has some objections, some questions about your product. What will happen then is Jason will dig into your FAQs that you provided about your product and answers to handle those objections, to answer the questions from your prospect so they would end up booking a sales call. And simple as that, the simple process of you getting Getting the leads and Jason doing everything, researching about them, crafting personal emails, sending those emails, handling the objections and replies, and booking in the meetings. That's what Jason does. And all of that for $1,099.99 with a simple interface and all of it happening on the cloud. So you're not, this is a cloud, let's imagine, you're not sacrificing security. Everything ha is happening on your cloud. No one is scraping and keeping your data about your leads, about whatever leads you scraped, about your result. Everything is happening in-house, you could say, right? So you're not losing any security, you're not compromising anything, but you still get an ASDR that books in meetings like crazy by automatically handling objections, writing personalized emails based on your product, settings, examples, and information about your customer. Now, if this doesn't sound crazy, or if this price is a little too much, or if you don't know how to set up the cloud, I suggest taking out a few other videos I made about AI SDRs to see which one is the best fit for you.